Hello everyone, today we will analyze this interesting problem that deals with an integral equality. So we are used to solve equalities with algebra, but today I want to explore with you an, in, an integral that can be seen in terms of an in in, in no function fx. So the question is following, determine the continuous functions uh, from 0 to 1 to the real numbers that satisfies an integral from 0 to 1 of x multiplied by x minus fx dx equal to 1 divided 12. So what is the idea here? The idea here is, uh, is simple. When you see such kind of, uh, of problems, you need to try to find in all techniques that you know very well. What do I mean by all techniques that people, uh, maybe you know? Uh, for example, complete the squares. So I will take again this part. I will take again. I will copy and then I will paste it. Now, okay. So what is the idea here? The idea here is to uh, obtain this integral. So I will make just uh, something for notation. It will simplify my work a lot. What is the uh, notation I want to introduce? I would say just that y is equal to fx, just for making more simple writing. So the integral is can be written as integral from 0 to 1 of y multiplied by x minus y dx. Okay, so I won't do anything about the integral. I will just multiply the terms yx minus y square dx. Now we will try to complete squares here. So how can we do that? It's just we can put minus integral 0 to 1 of y square minus yx dx. Now, the next step is, remember, the same as we used to do when we complete squares, we just uh, add the term that is multiplying the y, in this case, minus x, and divide by 2, and square. Also, we will put exactly this term. We move a little bit here. Okay, here looks better. Equal to. And now I will minus minus x divided to square by dx. Okay. So what is the next step? The next step is to make some algebra and calculate one integral that can be calculated easily. So for this, I will put here. Okay. So we write equal to minus integral 0 to 1. So remember, we are completing the squares. So this is y minus x divided 2 at the square minus x at 4 divided by 4. Sorry, I mean x square divided by 4 and the x. Now, this is minus integral 0 to 1. i minus x by 2 by the x minus y minus plus integral 0 to 1 s x square divided 4 by the x and the last integral can be solved easily as x at cube divided by 12 integral 0 to 1 this is minus integral from 0 to 1 again. y minus x divided 2 dx plus 1 divided 12. And this is equal to 1 divided 12. 
So what does it mean? It means that the int minus integral from 0 to 1 of y minus x. Oh, sorry, I forgot the square here. Okay. x divided 2 at square by the x must be equal to 0. Okay. So how can we use the hypothesis that this function is a continuous function? The idea here is that um, the integral must be a zero here. Why it must be zero? Because we are integrating something, a positive quantity. Remember that this term, I will show, this term is a positive quantity. And uh, also it's continuous, so it must be equal to zero in order to give an integral equal to zero by continuity. So it implies that y minus x divided 2 is equal to zero. So y must be x divided 2. So we conclude that fx must be x divided by 2. Okay, it seems that we have found our answer to the problem and you can check by yourselves in the original equation that actually this is the right answer of the problem because it fulfills the conditions of the equation given. So this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And um, please, if you have an additional questions, please suggest them or suggest alternative ways for doing this problem and uh, really it will be very interesting to read your uh, apports or what you want to say about this interesting problem thank you so much have a good day to everybody